Hey there, Savvy Savers. It's Iggy, back at it again on the Investing Iguana, the place to be if you're all about leveling up your finances and tasting the freedom that comes with it. Today, we're diving into a topic that's both dreamy and daunting, retirement in Singapore. Let's be real, retirement is the end goal for many of us, but it's also a stage in life that catches most people off guard. Think about it. Less than a third of Singaporeans are fully confident they can chill in their golden years without financial hiccups. Considering Singapore's reputation as a wallet-draining wonderland, those aren't just stats, those are warning bells. So what are the money blunders that could take your retirement dreams and turn them into financial nightmares? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Let's jump right in and find out how to dodge these pitfalls like a pro. All right, let's dive right into mistake number one that can ruin your retirement dreams, flying by the seat of your pants with zero plans. That's right, skipping out on a retirement plan is like sailing into a storm with no compass, you're inviting chaos. Now, a solid retirement plan is more than just scribbles on a napkin. It's a 360-degree blueprint that lays down everything from your retirement dreams to the nitty-gritty of how you're going to afford that beachside cabana. What do you dream of doing in your golden years? How much dough will you need to make those dreams a reality? When do you want to clock out for the last time, and how lux, or low-key, do you want your retired life to be? But we're not done. Your plan should also look at how much risk you're willing to take with your investments. Are you a thrill-seeker or more of a play-it-safe kind of investor? Plus, you've got to think about life's curveballs, yeah. I'm talking about medical emergencies and other unexpected expenses. And hey, if you're thinking, this is overwhelming, where do I even begin? Chill. There are some cool online tools out there, like the CPF Retirement Calculator or MoneySense Retirement Planner, that can get you started without breaking a sweat. Trust me, it's never too late to whip up a plan and get your retirement dreams back on track. All right, friends, let's roll into mistake number two, and this one hits close to home for a lot of us, over-relying on CPF as your golden ticket to retirement bliss. Now, don't get me wrong, CPF is a great tool, a compulsory saving scheme that starts paying out when you hit 65. But let's make this crystal clear, CPF alone might leave you hanging. So, say you're turning 55 in 2023. The basic retirement sum, or BRS, is set at 93,000 Singapore dollars. Have that much in your retirement account, and voila! You get a monthly payout of around 740 Singapore dollars to 800 Singapore dollars, starting at 65. Sounds good, right? But hold up, that's if you own your place and don't have to fuss about rent or a mortgage. The reality check comes when we look at average spending. A few years back, retired households in Singapore were spending around 1,922 Singapore dollars per month. So, doing some quick math here, if you're relying solely on CPF, you're looking at a monthly gap of over a grand. So what's the game plan? Diversify, diversify, diversify. Spice up your retirement income with some personal savings, tasty investments, annuities, or even a side hustle. You can also pump up your retirement account by topping it off with cash or CPF savings. Want to extend the lifespan of your payouts? Consider deferring when they start or just taking out smaller amounts each month. Bottom line? Don't put all your retirement eggs in the CPF basket. Mix it up and give yourself some financial breathing room for those golden years. Hey, money mavens, let's slide into mistake number three. And oh boy, this one's a doozy. We're talking about either not investing for your retirement or doing it so badly, you might as well not have. Seriously, investing is like the financial gem for your money. You've got to exercise it to see it grow and keep ahead of inflation. But guess what? A big chunk of Singaporeans aren't even showing up to the gym. Most people keep their hard-earned cash lounging in bank accounts or fixed deposits. While that's low risk, it's also low reward. Those accounts are like that lazy friend who promises a lot but does very little. You're missing out on the sweet magic of compound growth and higher returns. 
Then there's the flip side, the daredevils who do invest but make facepalm-worthy choices. I mean, have you ever followed a hot tip without doing your homework? Or maybe you got jittery and pulled all your money out of the market because you panicked? And oh, let's not forget those sky-high fees that some folks happily pay, only to see them erode their returns. But hey, no shame, we've all been there. The key is to get back on track. Start with a solid game plan that syncs up with your retirement goals. Consistency is your BFF here. Make regular investments over the long haul. Go for investment options that are low-cost, diversified, and aligned with your risk level and return goals. And don't forget to pop the hood and check on your investment engine from time to time. Make sure your portfolio still matches your risk tolerance and objectives. Feeling lost? No worries. Seek out pro advice from a licensed financial planner or jump onto platforms like Money Owl or Endow Us for some robo-guidance. All right, friends, let's steer clear of this mistake and keep that retirement dream alive and kicking. Hey, financial freedom fighters, ready for mistake number four? Get this, it's about either not saving enough or believe it or not, stashing away too much for your golden years. Yep. You heard that right, saving can actually be a double-edged sword. Let's start with the not saving enough crowd. Now, I get it, life in Singapore isn't cheap. Between the high cost of living, those sneaky unexpected expenses, and maybe just not making as much as you'd like, saving can feel like an uphill battle. If you're nodding your head, listen up. The key is to start early and aim high, but be realistic. Get a budget going that has a VIP spot for savings and treat it like it's a non-negotiable expense. Scored a raise or a juicy bonus. Bump up your savings rate. Oh, and about that daily gourmet coffee or flashy new gadget. Maybe think twice. On the flip side, there are folks who are hoarding away so much money, they're practically living like monks today. While it might seem like hashtag retirement goals, saving too much can make you miss out on life's joys and experiences right now. Plus, you might be so risk-averse, your money's just taking a long nap instead of growing. And let's not forget, you don't want to leave behind a treasure chest that becomes the star of a family feud or is gobbled up by taxes. So, how do you strike that Goldilocks balance of just right? Start by painting a vivid picture of your dream retirement. Want to travel? Love the idea of a hobby turn side hustle? Factor those into your savings. Allow yourself some fun funds because guess what? Life's happening now. And don't be afraid to occasionally dip your toes into calculated risks that can bump up your bottom line. Also, start thinking about your legacy. Make your intentions clear to avoid any future family WWE matches over your estate. So, are you ready to save smarter, not harder? Let's dodge this mistake and make your retirement years the best chapter of your life. Hey Savvy Savers! Time to talk about something that's as thrilling as watching paint dry, but way more important, insurance. You heard me right, we're diving into mistake number 5, which is skimping on, or going overboard with, insurance for your retirement years. Brace yourselves! First off, let's chat about the folks who are skating on thin ice with bare minimum insurance. If a curveball like critical illness, disability, or, let's get real, death, comes flying your way, you could be caught seriously short on funds. Why do people skimp, you ask? Well, it's usually a cocktail of confusion about insurance, the invincibility mentality, or just the grudge against parting with hard-earned cash for premiums. So, here's my insurance 101 for you. Take a hard look at what you'll realistically need for retirement, especially if you've got dependents or lingering debts. Shop around to get coverage that fits you like a glove and won't have you eating instant noodles just to pay premiums. And remember, life changes, so should your insurance. Make it a habit to review and tweak your policy, especially when life throws you a curveball like marriage, a baby, or a career change. But hold up, there's another group we need to chat about, the overinsured overachievers. These are the folks with insurance policies stacked up like a Jenga tower. Sure, 
You are covered from every conceivable angle, but you might be throwing money down the drain on redundant or overlapping policies. If that's you, it's time for an insurance diet. Trim the fat by consolidating your policies and ditching duplicates. Customize your coverage so it's tailor-fit for your needs and not an inch more. And here's a tip. If your policy isn't giving you bang for your buck, maybe it's time for a breakup. So, whether you're underinsured or wrapped up in too much coverage, it's time to get your insurance game on point. Your future self will thank you when life, inevitably, happens. Ready to patch up this money mistake and sail smoothly into retirement? Let's do this. We're jumping into mistake number six, ignoring the old ticker, the muscles, and basically anything related to your health. Trust me, you'll want to keep watching because good health and retirement is like that secret ingredient that makes everything better. So let's get into it. A lot of people are stressing about their health as they approach their golden years. Why? Oh, you know, the usual suspects, bad eating habits, no exercise, living the 24-7 stress fest, and ignoring chronic conditions like they're that friend request from your ex. Listen, if you neglect your health now, you are literally betting against yourself in retirement. You're not just risking a shorter life, but also piling up those dreaded medical bills. Higher premiums, anyone? Plus, who wants to retire and not be able to enjoy it? So, are you ready to supercharge your health for a blissful retirement? Step 1. Eat like your life depends on it, because, newsflash, it kinda does. Aim for a balanced diet that's not just nutritious, but also brings joy to your taste buds. Life's too short to eat bad food, am I right? Next, don't just Netflix and chill, Netflix and move. Squeeze in regular exercise that you actually enjoy, whether that's salsa dancing, hiking, or just the good old treadmill. The goal is to maintain your strength and stamina so you can travel, play with the grandkids, or just be awesome in general. Speaking of being awesome, let's manage that stress, shall we? Maybe try yoga, meditation, or just laughing out loud, yes, for real, not just as an acronym in your texts. Whatever keeps you zen, do more of that. Don't forget to play detective with your health. Regular checkups and screenings can be like spoilers for potential health plot twists, giving you time to make a winning strategy. And if you're already managing health conditions, listen to your doc. You want to be a partner in your health journey, not a roadblock. Mistake number seven, forgetting to build your social circle for the golden years. So here's the deal. Retirement isn't just about money and health. It's also about who you spend your time with. Imagine retiring and realizing you're, well, lonely. Sounds pretty grim, doesn't it? Apparently, a good chunk of people worry about being alone or disconnected once they retire. You know how it is, work buddies drifting away, not meeting new people, living far from family, or simply not sharing interests with your current crew anymore. Loneliness isn't just a bummer, it can actually mess with your mental well-being. So what's the game plan to keep your social life buzzing even when you're not clocking in at 9 to 5? Firstly, the family and friends who've been with you through thick and thin? Stick with them. Relationships are like plants, they need to be watered to stay alive. So give mom a call, have a coffee with your bestie, and keep those bonds strong. Remember those old pals from high school or college that you lost touch with? Time to slide into their DMs. Rekindling old friendships can be like hitting the refresh button on your social life. Don't let pride or shyness stop you. Take the first step and reconnect. What about your interests? Love gardening, cooking, or can't get enough of sci-fi books? There's probably a club or group for that. Join in. Not only will you do something you love, but you'll meet like-minded people. It's a win-win. Feel like giving back? Volunteering isn't just good for the soul. It can introduce you to a whole new circle of friends. Plus, it adds that sprinkle of purpose to your life. And lastly, let's keep the door wide open for new folks. You never know. The next stranger you chat with could be a lifelong friend in the making. We've hit the grand finale, mistake number eight, living without a purpose in retirement. Yep, we're going existential today, my friends. 
So here's a hard truth. Money and health are crucial, but they won't magically make your retirement satisfying if you don't have a reason to jump out of bed every morning. Believe it or not, a lot of people reach retirement and then think, okay, now what? More than half of folks are kind of wandering aimlessly through their golden years because they didn't set clear goals or chase any dreams. Maybe you never picked up a hobby, or maybe you didn't think about how you could use your skills in a fulfilling way. But don't worry, it's never too late to find your why. So, what's the secret sauce to crafting a meaningful retirement? Firstly, dig deep and figure out what genuinely makes your heart sing. Could be painting, could be cooking, or heck, even skydiving. Once you're locked in on what makes you tick, set some smart goals. That's right, they need to be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Want to write a novel? Cool, how many words per day are you committing to? Adventure is the spice of life, so don't shy away from trying new things. Always wanted to learn to dance or speak another language? Now's the time. It will not only keep you engaged, but also give you something awesome to talk about. And speaking of talking, why keep all that wisdom and skill to yourself? Teach someone else how to do what you love. It's a two-for-one. You get to feel good about helping someone, and they get to learn something new. Don't forget to give yourself some love along the way. Celebrate your little victories, the milestones, and even the epic fails, because they mean you're living, not just existing. Hey folks, that's a wrap for today. I really hope you snagged some golden nuggets of wisdom to make sure your retirement in Singapore is nothing short of spectacular. I mean, who wants to fall into those classic money traps, right? If this video added value to your life, or even just made you rethink one little thing, go ahead and smash that like button. Want more of this content? Well, the journey doesn't have to end here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button like it owes you money. Oh, and let's keep the good times rolling without interruption. Ring that bell so you're the first to know when a new video drops. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I can't wait to catch up with you in the next video. Until then, stay savvy and keep those financial goals in sight. Peace out.